if you had to use a few adjectives to describe how they are as students. <laughs> uh... Hey guys, uma coisa que eu amo fazer é fazer perguntas para outros gringos sobre o que eles acham sobre os brasileiros, sobre o país, a cultura, a língua do Brasil. Então hoje eu decidi entrar no aplicativo Cambly como qualquer outro estudante e falar com alguns nativos de inglês, alguns professores nativos de inglês para descobrir o que eles acham sobre os estudantes brasileiros que entram no aplicativo regularmente para fazer as aulas de inglês. E se vocês ainda não estão sabendo sobre esse aplicativo, eu já fiz vários vídeos sobre o aplicativo. Se você está tentando achar um nativo para praticar inglês, não tem um jeito melhor de melhorar seu inglês do que praticando com um nativo de inglês que pode te dar o feedback e bem na hora que você faça um, um erro ou se você tem uma pergunta para o um nativo. Se vocês ainda não provaram o aplicativo, pode usar esse código aqui e vocês vão ganhar 15 minutos para falar com um nativo de inglês. Pode fazer as aulas em qualquer horário do dia também. Quando vocês têm o tempo para fazer as aulas e conversar com as pessoas, os professores, mas agora vamos descobrir o que os professores gringos, os nativos de inglês, pensam ou acham sobre os brasileiros como estudantes de inglês. Uh, I guess generally speaking, what are they like as a student? What's their personality like in relation to maybe some of the other nationalities that you encounter here? Uh, basically, it comes back to, it's, it's interesting that they're probably more intense on their English than some others. They're, they're usually more relaxed than, uh, for instance, people from Turkey or the Saudi Arabians. It, it depends on the person. It, it, I've come across multiple personalities. So I would say that Brazilian students are usually open and friendly. It feels like I'm having a conversation with a friend and people are just nice and kind. I don't know. <laughs> cool. And would you say that that's, that's a good attribute to have for somebody who's trying to learn English uh, as an English as a second language learner? Yeah, yeah, it's really important not to be shy as well. And if you're an open person, it makes it easier to make mistakes, to talk to people, and to not be afraid of just having a conversation that might be filled with mistakes, which is okay. It's so necessary to talk a lot. It's interesting. I find the people from Brazil very, very friendly. Very, very friendly. They're fun to talk to. I've met a lot of really, really good English speakers from Brazil on Cambly. I've met some very impressive people. I've met kids that are 19 years old that are getting a pilot's license and have impeccable English. It seems like there are people that like to enjoy life and I've had a lot of fun Brazilians that uh, I can go back and forth with and we end up chatting and laughing while having an English lesson. It's, it's very nice. Um, they're open to hearing your feedback and to um, you correcting them. So they're not afraid to make mistakes. And as a teacher, that's really what you want because you want somebody that's open and will listen to you um, and is willing to learn. Yeah, I feel some people um, or some nationalities can be a bit more, um, I don't want to say closed off, but they're just maybe more reserved. And um, so they're not as open to um, to, I guess, hearing feedback. If you had to use a few adjectives to describe how they are as students. Well, I, I think they're, they're happy students. Um, is that a good thing? thing? Yeah, no, it is a good thing because then you can have fun learning. Yeah. Well, I guess I would say friendly, um, which I know is more of a personality adjective. It, it doesn't really describe their approach mm -hmm. to learning English, but... Fine. Eager as well. It seems like a lot of my Brazilian students are very focused. They are trying hard to learn, to to iron out those mistakes. Mm -hmm. So friendly, eager, focused. Friendly, talkative. <laughs> I have not met many shy Brazilians. A few. Um, they're very eager to, eager, eager to learn, open-minded. They're very like respectful to you as a teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, they really want you to correct them. And I, I find the opposite happens. If I say, well, you did that correctly, people don't believe it. Like, really? No, 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 no. I had to make some kind of mistake. Like, I don't want to say any stereotypes here, but typically the Brazilian people are very, very friendly. 
and they're always really happy and engaging when they speak with me. Uh, but the good thing about it is that they're always willing to learn and hear feedback, which as a teacher is fantastic. Um, it makes it easy to teach and to encourage them to to fix their mistakes and learn. They tend to be friendly. The ones that I've met are very friendly. It seems like Brazilians like to enjoy life. They like to celebrate life. And I love that. It seems that they're driven to learn. The ones I've met are, are, are actually pretty serious students. Even the ones that are that uh, we might just be having fun and bantering, they, they're serious about wanting to learn English. And they really want to try and, and better themselves in that way. Cool. Um, have you learned anything interesting or kind of funny about Brazilians or Brazilian culture as, as you've kind of had these conversations with, with the students? I don't know. It seems like Brazil is such a big place, you know, and it seems like you have different personalities in the different regions you go to. You know, there's the, like Rio is not the same as Sao Paulo. And then the Sao seems very more organized, more responsible, you know, where in the North, it seems like more laid back and more fun. I, I didn't realize that about Brazil, but yeah. That's impressive that you know that just from talking a little bit with Brazilians because it's something that, you know, you, everything you said is exactly right. <laughs> so I love uh, to learn about food. I love to cook food, to eat food. Um, and when I travel, that's always something that is a big part of my trip. So I always like to learn about um, Brazilian food. Um, but I feel there's loads of desserts that they have, loads of chocolate and sweets and condensed milk. <laughs> Um, as well as loads of good meat. So I've definitely learned about that. And it really has, I guess, given me um, this big wish to travel there. Cool. Um, I always love when they call me just because I know that I'm going to learn something new um, about Brazil because it's such a huge country yeah. that everyone I talk to has a, a different, um, comes from a different place or has a different um tradition that they want to share with me. So I just really enjoy it. So the one thing that really kind of amazed me is, and I, I see if I understood this correctly, you would probably know that Brazil, you're required to vote. Yeah. <laughs> like there's no, I don't feel like going to vote today or there's no one I'm interested in. I, I find that really amazing. I, I already knew that Brazilians were friendly. I'm from Florida, so we get to speak to a lot of Brazilians already. And I already knew that Brazilians were friendly. I'm really surprised at exactly how many Brazilians have told me that they've gone to Orlando. And I would say half the time when Brazilians travel to the U.S., it's to Orlando because of Disney World. It's like they think that's the center of the American universe. There must be some. The, the marketing for Disney must be incredible in Brazil. Yeah, it must be. Or, or, Anything else you want to add about your, kind of your experiences teaching Brazilian students here out here on Cambly? Yeah, I mean, it's always really fun. So if anyone wants to try Cambly, I would say to not be intimidated. So even if you're shy, if you're not an outgoing person, it's totally fine. And it's also okay to make tons of mistakes. That is so, so normal to make tons of mistakes and it's completely fine. So whoever you talk to will, will just help you with that and it will be fun, hopefully. Então, gente, como vocês podem perceber, todos os professores são bem legais e realmente eles adoram fazer aulas com os brasileiros. Eu acho que tudo que eles falaram é verdade. Vocês, vocês são muito amigáveis e foi bem legal que todos os professores falaram isso sobre os brasileiros. A maioria de vocês tem características boas para ser estudantes de inglês, então vocês não têm desculpas para melhorar seu inglês ou praticar seu inglês. E também foi muito legal ouvir as coisas que eles aprenderam de vocês mesmo sobre o Brasil e sobre a cultura. Eu realmente não conheci nenhum gringo que não gostasse dos brasileiros, é muito legal compartilhar isso com os outros nativos de inglês, as pessoas que não conhecem o Brasil muito bem. Só pelas conversas que eles têm no aplicativo dando aulas para os brasileiros, eles ficam interessados em, na cultura brasileira e o, e o país. Vocês sempre estão tentando compartilhar sua cultura e as coisas boas do país. 
Uh, então foi bem legal falar com os professores. De novo, se vocês têm interesse em conhecer e provar o aplicativo, usa o código aqui e vocês vão ter 15 minutos, vocês podem entrar, escolher qualquer professor que está disponível. Se vocês encontram um professor que você gosta muito, vocês podem marcar horários para vocês fazerem regularmente as aulas. Acho que os planos do Cambly, vocês podem entrar cada dia. Então, é muito legal se vocês realmente estão procurando alguém para treinar seu inglês. Um, é um aplicativo muito, muito bom. E é isso, gente. Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau.